Hey, how's it going? This is Rory for RateMyFuneral.com. Uh, that was Rate, by the way. I'm going to do a little tutorial today that will probably end up taking ages. Um, we're going to create this skateboard. Uh, it's the dynamic and it's got motors in the wheels, makes it move. It's a bit of fun. Um, not for any real reason. Uh, it's, it's not the most accurate of models, but it's just sort of playing with the di dynamics and that sort of thing. Um, I'm doing it for... I, well, I had to build one for a uh, music video that I'm working on and uh, I had a few troubles with it uh, to say the least um, so I thought I would create a little tutorial based on the problems that I found um, and, and that sort of thing so uh, there we go let's uh, get on and see what we can do cheers now as you can see whoops, this is the uh, skateboard here uh, like I say it's dynamic um, so if I just play the animation You see it goes down the half pipe and jumps off the end. Whee! So that's a bit of fun. We're going to have a go at making that. Uh, I warn you in advance, uh, I'm going to be swearing quite a lot in this. I'm going to use the word a lot. Um, but don't worry, uh, I will be bleeping it out because obviously it could be considered offensive. Um, but don't worry, I won't be using the word because that's obviously very offensive. Um, plus, I've been drinking. So. God only knows what's going to happen, um, but let's just see. Uh, right, f let's uh, start here. Um, new project. Let's start by creating a rectangle. There we go. Now by default, it's in the wrong plane, so we're going to change it from X Y to X Z, like so. Uh, that's X Z if you're American, um, but X Z if you're uh, not. Um, Let's change this. Sorry, I didn't mean to alienate Americans. I love Americans. Americans are wicked. They like do stuff that's like awesome. Right, uh, let's shrink that down a bit like that. I'm assuming that you have some kind of knowledge. Plus, I've actually recorded this a few times and f up a couple of times so far and I've had to restart because um, I like to try and do it all in one hit. Um, but this is really winding me up. So I found a little bug here. I did this first time earlier, and I don't, I say it's a bug, it's probably me. Um, I did this earlier first time, no problems at all. I've gone to recreate it again for this tutorial, and I f it up every time. <sighs> Sorry, I'm rambling. Let's see, uh, rectangle, we changed the width, we made it like a skateboard, and we hit rounding, like that. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna bring that width in just a little bit more, I think. Um, yeah, nah, that'll be all right. Okay, uh, f uh, let's hit C and make this editable. We could hit the button over here, but we're not. We're going to hit C. Um, right. Do, 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 do. I've got to remember where I am now. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Um, rectangle. Uh, we need to put the, those kind of curves in it. This was the bit that I actually struggled with the most and the bit that I'm having a real nightmare with right now. Uh, now, I wish somebody would tell me the proper way of doing this, but this is how I worked out how to do it. Uh, I'm going to go to point mode over here. And you can see we've got various points on our rectangle. Um, we press K, that gives us a knife. Uh, we're currently set to line, so that's fantastic. And I'm going to hold shift and drag down about there. That way we create two cuts. And I'm going to do the same on the other side, hold shift. Holding shift makes the line perfectly straight. That's one of the things I think I've had trouble with. Uh, we're going to keep point mode on. We're going to select the rectangular selection up here by holding the mouse button on there and selecting that and then you need to make sure that you untick only select visible elements okay and now we're going to grab all of the points over this side uh, we're going to do rotate by pressing R on the keyboard um, and we're just going to rotate that a little bit like that and then just drag that up that's probably a bit too much so I'm just going to unrotate that a little bit and well, that wasn't enough now this is a little embarrassing. Okay, there we go. There's no accuracy in this really. I'm just kind of trying to get it around about that line there. Um, and I'm going to do the same this side. Grab these ones, press R for rotate. Grab them a little bit and raise it up. They don't have to be exact, I don't think. But like I say, I'm having all sorts of trouble with this. So, right, now this is the most difficult bit because what we've got here I say the most difficult bit, what am I talking about? It's probably not. Um, we've got the kind of circle shape going on here, but I don't like these angles. So what I did was I used the chamfer command. And now the problem I was having, if I grab these two, the ones that are on the angle, 
right click and do chamfer so that puts a nice curve on it you right click and just drag your mouse a bit and that puts a curve on it you see you see that curve look at that curve All right but now if I click it goes straight but with a line there and I, I really I can't work out what's happening I'm guessing this is a an uneven edge or something like that this is all messed up ah yeah hang on All right yeah you can see where something's gone wrong there I think I'm getting like extra dots here somewhere and I'm not seeing them I'm definitely I'm definitely having trouble here so what I've discovered either way uh, is you grab these two points so let's grab this one and this one we're going to right click we're going to do chamfer we're going to drag them like that now instead of clicking I'm just going to click up here you see and that keeps the curve now I don't know whether that's a bug or whether that's me being stupid or what I do not know but either way that seems to do it uh, it definitely didn't do it to me earlier it might be my version that I'm using here I don't know um, but I'm going to do the same this end here so I'll grab those two right click do chamfer and just grab those and I'm not going to click somewhere on the screen I'm just going to click the arrow Boom. there we go so we've now got we've now got our skateboard shape with the curves in it am I going too fast? good right um, let me see right so next we're going to give it some depth so rectangle is highlighted we're going to click on this one and we're going to click on or release on extrude nerves now a little handy hint here is if you hold alt when you rem remove your mouse key it automatically does it for you now by default cinema automatically chucks stuff towards the back on the Z axis we don't want that so we're going to change that to the zero like that and you can see look at that we've almost got a skateboard shape we want to move this middle one here so we're just going to click in there and just tap up a couple of times till it looks about right it doesn't want to be too thick I reckon that's about right there lovely um, but also we don't want the sharp edge so we go to caps and basically the caps are the, uh, are the the top bits here I keep pointing at my monitor this is the problem when you have a drink if you're doing a tutorial um, I forget you can't see my hands so uh, I'm just going to use the mouse to point if I can so uh, basically we're going to select oh, you also have to forgive that my middle mouse button on I've got a Microsoft Arc mouse and if I just touch I don't have to click, I just touch the middle mouse, middle of the mouse, and it automatically presses the middle mouse button, which changes it. Oh, I can't do it when I want to do it. There it goes. Which changes it to the, the four screens, which obviously I don't want every 30 seconds, but that's just my fingers. Um, right, start, fill it cap. There we go. Uh, end, fill it cap. Bang, like that. There we go. Now that's obviously not right, so radius, bring that right down to one centimeter. To be fair, that's probably a bit much, so 0.6, and 0.6, uh, give it a couple of edges, um, just press Control r and you can have a look, make sure that edge is okay. Depends how close you're going to get. Um, a good friend who I've never met, um, or don't even know, once told me that basically if all you've got there is like a, a load of white, then it's no good. But if you zoom in, uh, and you don't have a lot of white, then that is good. Make that what you will, I don't know. So I'm just gonna go with three on each for now. That'll do. There we go. And that gives us a nice edge. We've got a skateboard kind of shape thing going on here now. This is pretty cool. Okay. Um, now, obviously we're not gonna be changing this anymore. I don't think we're gonna stick with that. So I'm gonna make this um, like a, an object so I'm going to right click on that and do my current state to object bang like that now what we've got now is a um, is our inner section and our two caps um, what we're going to do here just for tidy's sake we're going to drag the caps out like that and oh, it creates a double I should point this out so we're just going to delete that one we don't need that one uh, we don't need the rounding folders because that's just nulls. Or was it? Have I just done? Uh, I think I might have just broken it. Sorry, I'm going to undo that. Right. Okay. So we do. So now that we go, we've got our shape. We want to make it so that it's uh, like a one object. Um, we don't have to, but we're going to. 
Um, so we're going to right click and we're going to do current state to object, like so. And what that gives us is a duplicate, um, just the same thing except it's got these things. So let's get rid of our original for now. Um, we're going to just pull the pull everything out like that and rather than having several things we're just going to right click and we're going to do connect and delete bang like that okay we're going to call this double click on that and call this board there you go i'm sure there are ways of tidying this up a bit better but for now i'm not going to worry too much about it i'm just trying to create something here um right let's create a uh, a wheel holder I'm not going to be putting a huge amount of effort in making this look realistic. So I'm just going to create a cube um, and let's shrink that down. Hit T, it gives you resize and we'll sh shrink that down like that. Let's go into top view. Um, we'll go into the middle. I'm going to put this cube into a symmetry. Remember, hold over it, hold alt, like that. And now I'm going to drag that cube up and it gives us two. This is just me being lazy. But it's not really a case of lazy, it's workflow, it's good, it stops us from repeating ourselves. Uh, so let's make that a bit thinner, about one or two will do, we'll just drag that down a little bit there. Okay, so we've got our two bits poking out the bottom there. Marvellous, marvellous. Uh, we can see what's kind of going on there. Grab this cube, we're going to make it editable, 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 press C, uh, and we're going to select polygon mode like that. Um, that's selected. Select the cube and we're going to grab that bottom one. Um, now let me see what am I going to do here. Uh, I probably could have done this a bit better actually so uh, let me see. Press the K for the knife tool. Untick restrictor selection. Change the mode from line to loop and we're going to just put a line um, there. Okay, and then we're going to go back to our select tool, grab that one. Make sure we don't grab extra ones. Look, if you look there, what I've actually done is grabbed some extra ones, so we don't want them. Um, and we'll just pull that down like that. I'm going to press T and just bring that in. Yeah. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, that'll do. We're going to grab a cylinder. Now again, if you look at that, that's not right. So we select object. No, not X, Z. That's the one. Um, and we're going to make the height. We look on the top one here bring that down a bit and the radius will bring that right in something like that uh, go back to the arrow and oh, let's dump that in the symmetry thing we'll put it inside of the cube and that way it, the symmetry takes it on there we go see and you can see we've now got got it moving um, I'm going to do something like that yeah that's pretty cool it's probably a bit thick actually. It's a bit dark looking, isn't it? No, a little bit thinner. Say three. Maybe not quite as long. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So, um, I'm going to stick with that for now. That's our board made. Right. Uh, da -da -da -da, slide that out, slide that out. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, I'm really sorry. Okay, so that's our board. Um, if we hit C on symmetry, that makes that kind of done. We can just slide those out of the symmetry, delete that, and we've now got just a load of that. We do connect and delete, and that gives us our board. We don't need board one. Okay. Right, and that's our board object. Uh, there you. This is texturing tags. Um, we could use them, but I'm just going to delete them for now, like that, because we, we don't really need them. 
Right, now we need to create the wheels. Um, I'm thinking that this is maybe taking a bit too long, but oh well, fuck it. Right, uh, let's see, we're going to create some tube. That's the one, tube. Again, we need to put that onto the z-axis. Uh, we're going to make that a bit smaller so we can see what we're doing. Use this dude down here to see, really. Um, height. There we go. That'll do. Make sure you're on back on normal object mode. That's for moving stuff around. But I'm not going to yet, because uh, I'm going to... How am I going to do this? Oh yes, I was going to use a symmetry again. Okay, so our tube's in the symmetry, so now we move the tube away, and that should put them both level. We come down to here. Um, let's get this about right. symmetry in another symmetry like so now when we move this one that's not going to help us because we're going to go oh uh, we need to change the plane I think it's X Y and then we move the, the symmetry within the symmetry there we go hey look at that it just saves us a bit of effort doesn't it beautiful right okay so that's got all of our wheels in the right place. That's maybe a little bit too far, but yeah, it's close enough. Okay. Now our tube, because our same one is doing all of these, we only have to do this once. This is why it's great about using this. Uh, we go to fill it like that, and do you know how that's looking kind of cool already? Let's see, that's looking about right for for wheels. Um, if you want to go the whole hog, you can create little nuts in there. Really put some detail in there. I'm not going to cover that in this one. You know, just uh, use a uh, an end side spleen and extrude it and put it into all four corners and then attach it to the base and you've got yourself a nice nut in the middle of the wheels. But for now, uh, we won't worry about that too much. Okay, but either way, we've now created our thing. We need uh, we need to create. Um, some geometry um, dynamics for this now. Okay, so now that we've got all all of our wheels, we need to make them into actual wheels so we can play with them. Um, I'm, you can probably do this bit using the symmetry to do it only once, but I can't work out how to make it work. So uh, first, I'm going to make that one editable by pressing C. That gives us two. Uh, no. Okay, so now that we've got our four wheels, we're going to make them all editable, uh, make them all individual wheels. Um, you can probably do the next bit using the symmetry, but I can't work out how to make it work for the bloody life of me. So um, we're going to do it like this. So basically, I'm just going to make that editable and that editable. That gives us uh, essentially one. We can delete the symmetry object. That gives us all four wheels. Um, now again, as I always say, there's more than likely a better way of doing this, but this is how I'm going to do it. And this is quite a handy thing to know anyway. With the tube selected, we're going to go to polygon mode, we're going to go to rectangular selection, make sure only a visible so is off, um, and we're going to select one wheel. And we go to uh, tools, uh, create, new mesh, that's the one, mesh commands, and split, bomb. Right, there's one wheel. Yeah, and then we're going to grab this one. We go mesh command split. And we grab this one mesh command split. This one mesh. 
commands and split. Cool. Okay, and then we delete the one that's got all four, and then that way we've got an individual for each. Okay, that was easy. Um, next, we are going to do simulate dynamics connector, and we're going to bung. Uh, this is a connector for this one here. Um, and then if you click and drag, you'll get a copy. So we can just do that to each one like that. There we go. So each tube has its connector. Okay, so now that we've got all of our connectors put onto all of our wheels, um, we're going to center them to each wheel. One of the problems we've got though is because of the way we've done this, our axis, you might notice no matter what one I click on, is always on this wheel. Um, this is a problem, like I say, there was probably a better way of doing it in the first place, but I just haven't found it yet. So um, this is the way I do it. Now this wheel here, that's wrong. So what we're going to do is we tick this box here. Um, and this allows us to move the uh, the axis of the, the thing. Now if we want it to go straight to it, we just go to Mesh, Axis Center, Center Axis 2, bang, and it puts it on it. So we do the same for this dude here, Center Axis 2. Uh, mesh and center axis too. There we go. So now all of our they're all correct now. So now we can go to the uh, the connectors and then down here we can go zero 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 and that puts it on that wheel. We go to this one zero 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 and that puts that one on that one. Oh I did something wrong there. Hang on, sorry, let me just undo that. Oh uh, I needed to untick this, sorry. Idiot. Right, okay, so I've done that. So with the connector selected 000. zero zero. Um uh, this is obviously it's facing the wrong way, so I'm just gonna spin that round uh, like that. So we'll put it to 180 like that. Um this one here zero 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 and one eighty uh, and this one zero zero zero. Okay, and I'm also going to make them all um, a little bit smaller. If you go to display, you can choose the size. So they don't need to be quite that big. Just big enough so we can see what's going on. Okay, so this connector. Go to object. Um, tube is object A, and the board is object B. This connector. Tube is object A, and the board is object B. This connector. Tube is object A, and the board is object B. B. And how can, who can tell me what this one's going to be? That's right, tube is object A and the board is object B. Beautiful. Right, so that's all of our wheels connected. Uh, we're going to add a little motor to them as well so that they, the, the board can roll by itself. Uh, you could just use gravity, but I, I like I like motors. Um, right, motor, display. Let's turn that down a little bit because that doesn't need to be that big. Let's put the motor on the bottom one here. Uh, we'll make a copy. Bom. Copy, bomb, copy, bomb. And we're going to use the same technique. So click on this motor, and because it's a child of that tube, we zero it out. That goes to there. This motor over here, because it's a child, we zero that out, like that. Again, if we change the thing to 180, that'll help us a bit later on down the line. So 180 and 000. zero. Uh, and this one zero, zero, zero. There we go. Right. Uh, next, we need to just give the motor something to turn. So we say, go to the motor, go to object, and object A is going to be not not the motor. What am I even thinking? Right. Uh, it's going to be the tube, which is the wheel. Should have renamed this, really. Oh well, fuck it. Right. Um, tube. Next mode up, tube. Next mode up, tube. Uh, now you might notice that you've got the speed settings. I just control click and select all the motors, and that way we can control them all at once. Uh, we're going to ramp the torque up a little bit and then ramp the speed up. There we go. That's beautiful. Um, so this should be our skateboard kind of working. We need to find out though. Um, Let's see, what do we need to do? We need to create, uh, we need to put all of these in a null firstly. Control 
no, Alt and G, we'll put them all in a null like that, and we can call this gate board. Ugh, freaky capitals. Let's turn my caps lock off. Gate board, there we go. Um, now, you need to give this simulation rigid body like that. We're going to set it to a moving mesh. And we're going to set that on all of these. I don't know if I did say this. When you click and drag, if you hold control, it makes a copy. I might have said it. I can't remember. Um, and we're going to just do that for all of them. Like this. Now, if you hit play, it should just fall. Cool. Okay. But you did notice that was spinning. So let's create a floor so that it doesn't just fall. Uh, just move that down a bit. And give the floor a simulation collider. Right. So what we've done is we've made these... Um, rigid but they, they're, they're movable um, whereas the floor because we did collider therefore it, it respects dynamics but it doesn't just fall for gravity for gravity that makes it the floor I know what I mean right so let's uh, zoom out and we'll just see moment of truth okay so it's kind of doing donuts I'm just going to ramp the frames up a little bit here now I think what the problem here is is friction. So the floor, oh, there's that middle mouse click again. Uh, the floor you notice is at 30% friction. Now I'll, I'm going to ramp that up to about 150 because I want some grip here. So let's just see the difference. All right, I think I have worked out what's going on. <laughs> We've made a whirly go round. All right, basically two of the wheels are going one way and two of the wheels are going the other. I thought I fixed that by turning them, but obviously that didn't work. So uh, we're gonna select what wheels, let's see. Let's grab the two outsides. Yeah, look, they're going against each other. That can't be right. Put it back to the start. Let's have a look. Oh. Okay. So these dudes are going against. No. Oh, stop clicking that middle button. Let's see. These. That's going that way. Yeah, look, they're going opposite. Okay. If we come across this problem, it's not the end of the world. Let's select those two and we'll make them minus speeds. Ah, stop clicking that middle button. All right. And see what that does. There we go, we're going in a straight line now. Um, I will just grab all of these wheels and just set the friction on those to 60. It might be that it's moving a little fast here. Mm, that's going, that's pretty cool. Okay, um, let's create a little half pipe for it. I'll show you the way I did that. Nice and easy, we create a big cube, like so. Move that out a bit, move that up a bit, and then we create a big cylinder. Change it to the x-axis, no, change it to the z-axis, and just make it a lot bigger. Move it up. Now, this is much easier if you go to the, the, front, the front view. You can see what you're doing a bit better. so that it makes it nice and uh, smooth. We'll give it a few more rotational. Um, we're going to basically cut the cylinder out of the cube. So we go to here uh, with the cylinder collected. It's a good way of remembering this. Basically, the thing you're going to use to cut out is the one you want to highlight. Select ball and press alt, and then it will put the cutter in first. Then you put in the object you want to cut, you see, and that's done perfectly. Go to the ball object and then basically you're going to say create a single object like so and also hide new edges because we don't need all of that extra crap. Uh, and that creates us our ball. Um, we're not going to change that. Obviously while that's like that you can change that because you can move this cylinder around and change the size. That's fine for me for now so I'm going to right click and do current state to object. That creates a copy. We can delete the original and uh, we can even take that out of the ball. Object, delete that. There we go. That's our, that's our floor. 
um, our half pipe. Right click on that and we're going to do simulation, we're going to do collider. Now I'll just show you something here, If uh, don't move that, we want to move the skateboard. If I drop the skateboard into our half pipe, here's what's going to happen. Ah, it's floating in midair. We don't want that, do we? That's what use is that to anyone? Rubbish. Now, this is obviously a common problem because I used to do it all the time. Um, however, the issue is with your tag, you click it and you come down here to shape and it's set to automatic. So basically, it will automatically just assume it's a cube. Um, we want to change that to a static mesh because it's not going anywhere and it's a mesh. So that way now, our skateboard will fall into it like that. Now, obviously we've created a new tag, it's got 30% friction, so I'm going to ramp that up to about 120, maybe maybe 150, we want some grip on there, don't we? Go back to the start and we're going to put the skateboard over the edge here. I think I know what's going to happen here. And it falls over, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Let's just rotate that just a little bit. Nearly. Move it just a little bit forward. Oh dear, this is rubbish. Move it a bit more forward. Whee! Oh, look at that, it's doing a little stunt. Look at that, look. oh that's a determined little skateboard. But basically that's it, there you go. That's how to create a little skateboard that works. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna create a little challenge. Um, basically, if you've watched this video, um, try to build up a little community here. Uh, it's mostly been photography on the Rate My Funeral site. Um, I don't know if you've been to my site, uh, ratemyfuneral.com. And uh, here is um, all of my stuff that I've been working on recently. There are photography challenges and stuff like that. I've put a lot of effort into this site, to be fair. Um, but one of the things I'm opening up is um, Cinema 4D stuff. So uh, under challenges, and if you go to active challenges, there'll be stuff for Cinema 4D, including this one. So uh, what I want you to do is, uh, yeah, um, create something with a skateboard. Um, make a video using this skateboard, uh, make something interesting, you know, even if you just make a 30 second clip, um, and you know, you can use it as part of your showreel, whatever, um, I'll put it in the gallery, uh, if you submit it, there's a button here for s submit a video, um, if you submit that to me, like I say, it'll go into my gallery, uh, that'd be wicked, I'd love to see what everyone's doing, um, also, uh, I'm trying to build the Facebook community, you know, I've got quite a few people on there at the moment, so if you want to go ahead to the uh, Facebook page, um, uh, go and press the like button and then you'll get updates as to uh, the stuff I'm doing. Uh, most of it's stupid, but you know, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to see your skateboard stuff. So uh, yeah, if you followed this tutorial, show me what you've done with it. Now, you know, it's all very well me giving you a tutorial, you going away and using it for your thing. Um, if you even do, I mean, you might think, no, that's a load of old shit and, um, you know, bin it, but it. you know, if it's good, show me, I want to see it and then I'll pass it on, I'll send it out and, you know, anyone that's looking at the site will see it and, yeah, it'll be good, it'll be fun. So, yeah, please, send me your skateboard shit, um, and I will, uh, see you again soon. Cheers, bye.